gonna shape them a little bit here. Pretty much uh, the length I am um, at the length that I that I do like. Maybe I'll take off a little bit of this one. Yeah. It's a little long. I'll try and trim a little bit off this as well. I really don't like to do my nails. I'd show you guys how I do them. Okay. So, now I'm going to put on the base coat, which is this one right here. It's a really good brand. Um, I've had no problems with them in the past. And, um, they're good um, in the sense that they are basically formaldehyde, toluene, and butyl phthalate, and camphor free. So I like that about them. So I'm just going to go in on the base coat. Thin layer of it. Um, I like a lot of reds. I like red shades. I like pink shades. Um, lately I've been liking a lot of silver shades. So, um, if you have any favorite nail color polishes, and you can recommend that might go well with um, my coloring. I'd appreciate it. I have um, on my hands, I don't know if you can tell in this video, but I have um, hand dermatitis and eczema. It's always plagued me. Um, it's one of the reasons why I find watching um, ASMR videos pretty relaxing, actually. to a lot of holistic healing. And I find that a lot of the physical manifesta manifestations and problems that we experience, such as dermatitis and eczema, are more of a manifestation of our um, mental minds and our minds, as opposed to um, anything physical. <laughs> but um, I'll talk more about that in another video. Um, so now that I've placed the base coat, I am going to do a coat of the color Bella. I thought this color was named after the girl on Twilight. That's quite possible. But um, I've watched um, one of the Twilight movies. I don't remember which one. But, um, well, so it was pretty entertaining, I thought. The whole thing with um, Edward and um, I'm not sure what the other guy's name was. Edward and um, I don't know. I'm sorry, Colin. I want to say I'm not sure. But um, yeah, so I just do my nails really quickly, actually. So I don't really have a special technique. really quickly, like one layer like so, so then I'll do the other hand. So, um, if you want to let me know um, what any of your favorite movies are, we can talk about them. I prefer to watch a lot of, um, old-timey movies, documentaries, I'm not really a big fan of the big blockbuster movies. I hope I'm doing a good job of showing you how I do my nails. This is 
by no means a tutorial on how to do your nails properly, but I hope it just shows you how I do my nails. fun to just watch uh, people do everyday things how they would do, you know, not perfectly, but um, I'll just do another layer, I think it needs a little more, it's a little um, translucent, this color is probably um, not opaque, it's really pretty though. I did a really nice silver nail polish color for Christmas with um, some sparkles on top. I really like that and um, I think I might do that again. It really put me in a good um, Christmas spirit, I think. You know, sometimes you wear a color or a piece of jewelry that makes you feel happy. That nail polish, the silver, the sparkles really made me feel happy for Christmas. Really put me in the Christmas spirit. That looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. So I'll do my other hand now. I don't buy a lot of nail polishes, but um I do like Zoya because um, they are free of camphor and toluene and formaldehyde. I'm not sure what the other ingredients are because um, it's not like the nail polish is completely. Um, it doesn't smell completely chemical free. So I'm sure there are other chemicals in the product, but um, perhaps they're not as dangerous as the ones I mentioned before. I like um, spending time alone at night. I've always liked it. I don't know about you guys, but um, it's kind of relaxing to just have um, the house to yourself while everyone else is sleeping. It's kind of um, peaceful. I don't, I don't put a top coat on. I don't know why. I don't know if I'll do it tonight because I'm so tired. <laughs> I've already put two layers of the nail polish on. But I know I'll regret it tomorrow if, or during the week, because um, if my nail starts to chip, I'll really regret not putting this one on. But um, since I'm here, open it because sometimes it's so hard. I'll just put a top coat real quick. I don't know how long you're supposed to wait between layers. Sometimes I get these bubbles um, top of my nose, which may be because I didn't wait between layers <laughs> before applying the top coat or the base coat, or, yeah, so, like I said before, I'm not an expert, but, um, I'll try my best, <laughs> that's all we can do sometimes in life, is try our best, right? So, 2012, turning out to be a good year. I was really stressed in the beginning of the year. Um, 
not sure why. I guess a lot of people feel stressed when they get in here. A lot of fear, um, just fearing what they're going to do for the rest of the year. Hoping that it'll be different from the year before. It's too much pressure sometimes to put on ourselves. Life is short, but, um, you know, there's no reason to feel scared. So, am I now? Um, hopefully it'll dry soon because I'm pretty tired. Um, yeah, so, these are my nails. I hope I did a good job. I can't really tell right now.